Susie Cobden. I'm on the road again today. Uh, stopped at a few of the beautiful sites on my um, travels and yeah, just been contemplating where I'm at uh, more spiritually than physically although I've been enjoying the physical as well. I love traveling and um, it's my opportunity to really connect with me. It's my space. Um, since I haven't had a place to call home, a physical place to call home for the last 18 months, being in my car and traveling is the closest that I come. I heard um, a channeler speak a few days ago about the upgrades and things that have been going on amongst humanity and what that means for each of us and I've sat with it for a few days really to get my take on it and what I've come to is that planet Earth has moved into the fifth dimension the fifth dimension is available to each and every one of us some of us are there and some of us could be there but the reason that we're not is because of our belief system we've got beliefs 3d beliefs that are keeping us locked into the third dimension you now when we realize that our beliefs create our life our beliefs create every aspect of our life then we realise that they also put us dimensionally in that same place. Now I've spoken before about being having different aspects of ourselves. You know, every time we make a decision, there's an aspect of ourself that explores those other those other choices as well. So in actual fact, each time we make a choice, a portion of us follows those other choices and takes on a life of its own. That means that there are many, many versions of us and most of them are very similar to us, except they've all had different experiences. You know, if you've got a certain um, condition in this lifetime there's a version of you that hasn't got that condition and you know every choice you've had has created another version so you know if you choose to follow a choice and then at some point down the road wonder what it would be like to have taken that, that other choice you can connect with the other aspects of yourselves that took those choices but you've got to be in alignment to do it and being in alignment is being happy and thinking the same way or releasing your thinking to come into alignment with your higher self and the same goes for the five dimensions the fifth dimension you know we have this dimension available to us it's a dimension where uh, non-linear time exists it's a dimension of higher vibration of higher light where contrast really doesn't exist like we know it today where there's instant manifestation and I have had glimpses of it. I spend portions of my time there and more and more often you know I'm coming into alignment and feeling the excitement that's coming from that portion of the self. Now if you're having issues with something ask 
your higher self from the place of alignment to show you the solutions or to connect you with other aspects of yourselves that don't have these issues. You know, they're very slight timeline shifts, but it changes your future and your past by taking them. <laughs> it's so exciting. You know, life on planet Earth is changing so much, so quickly, and there's a whole new life for us out there and for all of humanity. And I believe all of humanity, or the majority of humanity, will be there within the next few years. But many of us, it's available to us now. It's just a matter of letting go of the belief systems, the BS, belief systems or something else. But it's the belief systems that put walls around us, that contain us, that limit us. And when you can release those beliefs and open your mind to all possibility, that's when all these other things become available to us. So have a beautiful day. I've got to get going again. I've still got a couple of hours to go before I reach my destination for today. And um, enjoy the ride. Have a beautiful day and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.